Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. I got a follow-up on the HD Home Run. If you didn't see my original review, uh, check it out. It's a really cool device that basically uh, takes whatever comes in over your digital cable and puts it out on your network so uh, computers and other devices can make use of it. And what we did in the last video was uh, connected to the uh, Windows Media Center and then uh, use the Xbox 360 as an extender, which works great. However, uh, if you want to keep adding units to your house, it might get a little expensive to keep adding Xboxes. So uh, I went out to try to find a different way I could access it. I tried to use the Ouya game console. I tried a couple other things and I have settled on this, which is the Raspberry Pi. And if you're not familiar with this, I have another review of a Raspberry Pi project where um, I was able to use one of these to uh, make an old school BBS uh, through an Apple IIe, but these things are really versatile. And the, basically what this is, is a uh, $29 or $30 computer. Maybe it's 35 bucks, it's pretty cheap. Um, it is a full-blown computer. It's got about 512 megs of RAM, uh, has a decent processor on board, it runs Linux. And what you can do, there's, there's a multitude of projects out there, and a lot of people have been uh, making use of the Xbox Media Center, XBMC, uh, to turn this little guy into a home theater computer. And although it is relatively low powered, it does have plenty of ability to handle video, and it does a tremendous job of that. You can see a lot of people who've been able to convert Blu-rays uh, to be able to play on this thing. I mean, it's really remarkable uh, that you can take this little device, uh, connect it to your network, and, and really run off with uh, some high-end stuff. And what I was able to do was actually use it as a cable box. And let me just briefly go through what this thing's about. Um, it's got a bunch of ports on it, but the ones you need to be worried about are the HDMI port here, uh, the Ethernet jack. You can um, plug in Wi-Fi through its USB port, but I found that, that just like on the, on the Xbox and on the PC, that uh, streaming the cable over Wi-Fi isn't always that reliable. And then you uh, load in uh, onto an SD card here, uh, you load in an image. Now, I went with the Open ELEC, Open E-L-E-C installation of XBMC, which I found to work the best uh, with the HD Home Run. So uh, you might want to just uh, take a look at the different distributions, but I found that one to be the best. Now, one of the things that you need to do, uh, at least to know ahead of time, is that you have to purchase a license from the Raspberry Pi Foundation uh, for the MPEG-2 video codec. And the reason is, is that uh, cable is broadcast via, at least in my area, is broadcast with MPEG-2, and you need to buy a license in order to decode that from, uh, from basically the people that make the Raspberry Pi who have to buy the license uh, themselves from uh, whoever makes it, the MPEG Foundation or whatever they call themselves. But uh, nevertheless, just do that. Uh, it's $3 and change, so it's like an app purchase. It's really not all that expensive. And after you get that codec installed, um, it's pretty much just unlocking it with the serial number. Uh, you can install XBMC. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to go to my camera two here because the way you control it is with an iPhone app that uh, is rightfully called the XBMC controller. And it's pretty cool. So um, what we're going to do is just uh, wake our screen back up here again. Now what I did is um, I set it up through the videos uh, function here. Now what you have to do is basically add the, the uh, HD home run as a server, so or as a file server essentially. And you do that, I already have mine set up here, but you do that through add videos and you go to browse. And your first reaction is to go right to the HD home run devices, but actually what you want to do is go to the UPnP devices and it'll pop up, um, if you have it properly configured on your network, uh, it'll show up there and you go ahead and add it um, to the list. And I've already done that, so I'm just gonna skip out of that. And we're gonna go over there. And I think you can also set it up to like have favorites and stuff, so you don't have to continually um, browse through this, uh, this menu system here. But um, we can just quickly scroll down. We're gonna go to one of the HD channels. Now I should add that, uh, you know, like the computer that I showed in the last review, not all channels are going to be playable through this thing because if they put that do not copy bit on the channel, even though you're paying for access to that channel, uh, the Raspberry Pi is not one of the recognized uh, do not copy devices. So while it'll play on the Xbox, uh, HBO or ESPN as an example, won't always work. I did find that my local networks uh, work just fine. So what we're gonna do is uh, pull up WFSB, which is my uh, CBS affiliate here in Connecticut. And this takes a second, oh, there we go. I'll mute the TV here, um, and you got full HD, and it, it gets a, it's a little shaky when it first comes up, but um, after a few, you know, probably a couple minutes or so, it gets uh, pretty much up to par. I, again, I found that if you plug it in directly with the wire, it works a heck of a lot better than, uh, than not, but um, it really keeps up quite nicely. I'm on a really lousy television here. I'm splitting this signal and all this other stuff, so it's a little bit, um, you know, flaky right now, but 
I found that you know overall it just works tremendously well, especially for this little tiny device. Uh, some of the other installations of XBMC on the Raspberry Pi didn't work for some reason, so I'm not sure why that is, but uh, the Open Elec one is uh, the one I installed. This is as of October 1, uh, and it was really nice that it quickly came up to speed. And what I'm going to do with this is uh, we have one TV that doesn't have an Xbox connected to it. I have two Xboxes, long story, but I have two Xboxes. Uh, the third television doesn't have that, uh, but I'm going to plug in this Raspberry Pi, and for 35 bucks, uh, my wife can get some of the network stations on there. So while we're in here, we may as well take a look at what XBMC is all about. XBMC actually goes back to the days of the original Xbox. It was called Xbox Media Center, and it was designed uh, to run on basically jailbroken Xboxes, you know, Xboxes that were hacked just a little bit so you could install your own software on them. And it was very attractive when XBMC was first developed to use an Xbox in that manner because the original Xbox was a full-fledged x86 PC. It had a lot of horsepower, and it was very inexpensive. In fact, some people use them as servers, and even to this day they're using them as servers. Servers. And uh, it was a really neat way to do that. And again, a lot less expensive than buying a full fledged PC. Uh, XBMC has since been ported to dozens of platforms uh, the Apple TV, and of course, the Raspberry Pi, even the Ouya game console has. Uh, has a version of it as well. Uh, the Raspberry Pi actually has three different versions. Open Elec is what I'm running, uh, and it's a, a really optimized uh, version of XBMC, which works great for the kind of use that we're doing, which is streaming from the HD home runs. As you can see here, uh, my CPU usage is only, uh, you know, it, it hovers a little bit, but it, you know, it stays in the 25% territory in the menu system. Uh, the memory usage is very low, and of course you want to have uh, plenty of memory available when you're streaming uh, high definition video like we were before. So uh, really slick. And what's cool about it is that you can add a whole bunch of things to it. So you know you can um, basically set up folders on your network uh, where you can just load in movies legally, of course, uh, movies or whatever else you want to watch and just kind of have this thing available to uh, stream whatever it can find on your network. And adding uh, folders has gotten really easy. They have this thing called the Zero Configuration Browser. And basically, you can just pop that up and find every uh, network source on your, on your network and add it as a bookmark, essentially. And it'll automatically find all the new files there. And you can just keep watching stuff to your heart's content. And, and I'm really impressed with how fast and how well it runs on the Raspberry Pi. This is, at least in my opinion, is probably the best XBMC installation available for the Pi. I'll put a link in the uh, description there so you can check it out. So, um, but no, this is going to be great. I think uh, for 30 bucks, you know, for another Raspberry Pi uh, to basically act as a cable box uh, with the HD home run, it's going to be a great solution. Again, you can't get all of the channels that you can watch through the Xbox, but you get most of them. And we just wanted the uh, TV in the bedroom to get, you know, the major networks that are available in our area. And it will do that just fine. We're able to stream those without an issue. So that is the Raspberry Pi with the HD home run. And I think uh, this cable project, at least for now, is complete. I'll keep you posted if I find any other neat ways to use the HD home run. But for now, I think we're going to wrap up this series of only two videos. So thanks again for watching. This is Lon Seibin.